Kristen Veltzer, I'm with the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce, and uh, these folks standing behind me are uh, well experienced at the state budget and the requirements that are necessary for us to find a way to get Michigan out of this hole that we're in. And that's the reason we're here this morning. We want to talk about asking our leaders to put together some structural reforms so that uh, Michigan can be vibrant again. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that obviously we want to move forward and uh, have an opportunity to put some pl things in place that are going to give us some balance here in the state of Michigan. And uh, we've got a list of 20 reforms that we've put out, and uh, it's just a starting point. And uh, we certainly hope that the governor, as well as our legislative leaders, will take a look at that. I'd like it to, at this time, introduce Jim Holcomb, who's with the Michigan Chamber. Jim's going to talk a little bit about the details. Great. Thanks. Good morning. I appreciate everyone coming. Certainly clear at this point in Michigan is has reached a crisis situation. And we're all here today as one unified business community, one voice standing up to say enough's enough and we want change and we're demanding change. We simply cannot keep going down a path that we have set ourselves upon where each year we patch together a budget, we cobble something together and put off the tough choices for another two years. That's not acceptable to us anymore. It's not acceptable to the employers who are members of our organizations and all the employees across the state who are working to move Michigan forward. We need economic development in the state. We need economic growth that's going to start with better policies in the state of Michigan. And failure to really undertake the conversations, have the debate, and look at structural reform is a complete failure of this governmental uh, unit of the legislature, and we won't, we won't allow it to happen anymore. We're going to hold people accountable. We're there to help, ready to facilitate, and that's why we're trying to speak together as one voice to say, this is important to us, it's important to the business community, and we're trying to push this issue out there for legislators and the governor. So now I'll bring up uh, Bill Martin, Michigan Association of Realtors. Thank you, Jim. Uh, just a couple of points uh, to kind of uh, expand on Jim's initial thoughts. One, the Michigan citizens are way ahead of policymakers here. They have known for some time that the state of Michigan is in crisis. Policymakers today talk in terms of if we don't do X or Y, we're going to have a crisis. It is clear we are beyond crises. Uh, reforming government is not easy, but it can be done. And if uh, the people in Lansing just took a moment and took a deep breath and looked around them, they may find something that's both informational and inspirational. And who would have thought that both the city of Detroit and Detroit Public Schools would be making reforms necessary, as hard as they are, to put both the city and the public schools in Detroit back on the right fiscal path, not just on their budgets, but systemically in how they go forward, setting a path for renewal for both the city of Detroit and Detroit Public Schools. So it's not that far down to Detroit for policymakers to take a look and see how it can be done and that it should be done. With that, uh, Rob Fowler from the Small Business Association of Michigan. Thanks, Bill. I think, first of all, we want to um, give credit where credit is due, and that is to uh, applaud the governor for using her constitutional authority to make changes and corrections. Um, we want to encourage that kind of uh, thinking on the part of the governor and uh, applaud and encourage her to continue to make those kinds of changes. To Speaker Dillon for coming up with a really bold plan of pooling public employee uh, uh, health care uh, and to offer some real reform and real change. And to Senator Bishop for his leadership in the, in the Senate Republican Caucus to bring a budget forward that while it's painful is realistic and doable uh, and doesn't raise taxes. So there are, there are some things going on and we don't want to, um, to not give credit where credit is due. I think on behalf of the tens of thousands of companies that, that these business organizations represent and the hundreds of thousands of employees who work for them, we are making those very difficult choices in businesses all across the state. Uh, we, are, we, have, we are looking beyond next year's income and next year's expenses and looking at what it takes to be competitive going forward. That's how businesses have to operate today, particularly in this kind of economy. And it's really what we're calling on our elected officials to do as well, to look beyond the current budget, to think about structural change, to, to discontinue the process of kicking the can down the road and leaving the hard decisions for another day. 
what would have happened had, if some of these decisions had been made three and five years ago, uh, we would be in a better situation today. And we're calling on our elected officials to make structural changes, to make reforms now, even if they don't pay off in the current budget, but between now and October 1, we're calling on our legislators to make those changes. Now let me turn it over to Sarah Hubbard from the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce. Thanks, Rob. I just want to make it clear that this is a statewide effort on behalf of all the businesses here. Uh, we know that a business in Detroit or a business in Grand Rapids, a business in Lansing or a business in the UP is feeling the economy the same way. This isn't just about the Detroit Regional Chamber and our members in that area. Uh, businesses all over the state are tightening their belts. They've been doing it for many years now. It's time for Michigan to focus on that and do what needs to be done. As mentioned earlier, there are uh, governmental units in the Detroit area that are doing it. Um, the state has made some moves in the right direction and there are some local governments around the state that are doing it. It's time for the state to move forward and make reforms 